Here we are looking at the very iconic organ solo for Del Shannon's Runaway on the baritone. Two bars at a time. So we're starting off. I use my third finger. Now the reason I do that is because we're having to move down to this note later on and this note later on. So they're kind of all in position. That's why I'm using my third finger. So the first bit is a, if it was a pick, you'd be, it'd be called a rake where you brrr, you get it with your thumb. I'm finding it, I get the pace if I use those three fingers like so. So you're just lifting your ring finger ever so slightly to open underneath for your Second finger, there, can I get a better angle? I probably can't, just watch what I'm doing here. And then we have this cool little figure. So what's happening there is, hit your note, which is your C, or your G note, I beg your pardon. And then a semitone below, move up a string, same pattern, then move up a string and one fret, and then again, up a string and one fret, and then you work your way back. Notice that I'm using a hammer on to play those notes because when you're at 150 beats per minute, it moves pretty quickly. So, a hammer on is when you strike the string once and then come down hard with your other finger, and it changes the pitch of the note without interrupting the resonance of the string. You need to have quite a bit of force. Okay, next two bar pattern is this. Uh, if you slide down, it's probably the best because you want both these fingers here. We've got. One, two, nice and slow. One more time. And then we're starting our trills, which are 16th hammer-ons. That's one, two, three, four. 
that's fast. And then the next two bars are like so. Well, the next bar, I beg your pardon. It's a hammer on and a pull off. And then same again with these two notes. So all together. start the second half of the solo which is quite similar but there's a few important differences first of all the beginning note is okay same again now normally uh, like on the ukulele lesson I can go all the way down the neck and emulate the solo a bit more closely but we haven't got the notes here unless we were to start way up here which would be impractical so we're just going to repeat this but play it cleanly now this phrase is slightly different i mean to land like here sometimes i forget and i just hit that note but it goes so that's why you need that finger. So let me start that phrase again. So what we're doing is making a little F chord there, a triad. So those two notes are covered and that one there. One more time. together so I'd probably be using these fingers to get the pace up and then back into your trills I've seen a lot of uh, guitar tutorials where they don't actually try to emulate the trill of the keyboard but that to me is the most important part the, the two semitones like Jaws, you know, that's a really tense moment. So that's why I've done it in this one. I hope that helps. Uh, thank you very much. Please consider becoming my patron. Uh, there is a tab available over at patreon.com forward stroke ukulele. You would help me greatly if you were to uh, become a patron and download the music. It keeps these lessons going week to week. Thank you very much. See you in the next one. There's a swirl in the sun And a swirl in the sky There's a smile on the face Of everybody passing by